I didn't think Luka and Kyrie, I didn't trust them. Kyrie, too much drama, misses too many games. They're off to it. They're having a great week. A great two, three-week stretch, actually. In their last seven, eight games, they've been on fire, and Kyrie's been on fire. And so I was thinking about this. Is we only have, yesterday, 25, 24 games left in the NBA regular season. So this is when everybody tightens up the screws. You kind of you start watching NBA games this week. We'll have a Celtics-Sixers uh, game, a Warriors-Knicks games. Now's the time you kind of pivot into NBA. Watch it. It's going to look like playoff basketball for some of the seeding here. So I thought 10 through 1, let's go to the best duos in the NBA. J-Mac, are you ready? Yes, sir. All right, number 10, Ant Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns. Edwards averaging 26, number one seed in the West. My concern with these two, I do not trust Carl Anthony Towns in a big spot. Um, I just, I've always thought he can be emotional. Sometimes you lose him. He goes off the fairway, but I have them at number 10 duo. Number nine, Giannis Damian Lillard. My concern is not a very good team defensively, but they are the third highest scoring duo in the league this year. Giannis has been a dominant fourth quarter scorer. I worry a little bit about Dame's health. They haven't necessarily fit brilliantly together yet. And again, some defensive concerns there. Nine, eight, Chet Holmgren and SGA. Now their youth is a concern in the playoffs. But Holmgren, quietly, because everybody's paying attention to Wemby, Chet Holmgren's had a great year. And SGA is the second leading scorer in the NBA. So between these two, by the way, and this is one of the advantages of youth, they play every night. They've missed one game combined all season. Number seven, Luka and Kyrie. Now, here's my knock. They don't play defense, and Kyrie has missed 22 of 57 games. But on their good nights... When they're both hitting, it's hard to stop. Now, in terms of usage rate, Luka's got the ball in his hands. Highest usage rate in the league. And I always think when you play like James Harden, he's a little James Harden. You wear out in May and June. You just wear out. You have the ball in your hands. But I put them at seven. Number six, Steph Curry and Draymond. Say what you want. Have you noticed how good this team is since Draymond Green returned? Since Draymond Green returned, they're top ten in offensive rating, defensive rating, and net rating. I'm sorry, all you haters. Draymond after Steph is the soul of this franchise. Curry leads the NBA in three-point score. Number five, if they're available, Kawhi and Paul George. I mean, listen, they both defend. They can both score. Uh, and here's the other thing this year, J-Mac. They're not missing games. They've only missed nine total all season. And the Clippers have the best record and the highest offensive rating in the West since December. So that's the one thing if you watch the Clippers, you can't deny. They move the ball. Harden has finally given them a legitimate veteran point guard and assist guy. Paul George Kawhi at five. Four, Durant and Booker. Best mid-range duo in forever. They're the only duo, both averaging over 27 a night. Listen, you guys all bang on Kevin Durant. Nobody gives Booker props. But there's nothing like playoff basketball. We all talk about threes. You know what happens in the playoffs? Get me a bucket. Booker and Durant are buckets. That's why I think they'll be very good in the playoffs. I put them at five. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown better defenders probably than those two. I put him at three. Um, listen, they're great at home. Net rating's fantastic. Four conference finals in seven years. They've got playoff experience. You know, Tatum sometimes, I think, can shrink a little in big spots, but I put him three. Two, you're going to go crazy, LeBron and AD. AD's not missing games. So Le AD is the best defensive player in the league, I think. And I think LeBron on any given night is a top five offensive player. And the bottom line is these guys aren't made for a seven-game playoff series, but they won the in-season tournament for a reason. When AD and LeBron can give you 38 minutes each, they can beat anybody. They went to Boston without these two and beat the Celtics. So I put them as the number two duo. Now, I think by next year, they may drop to seven because of their age, but right now, number two and number one, Jamal Murray and Jokic. And I don't think they're, they also have a great supporting cast, but I get a big man who on any given night can have 15 assists, 15 rebounds, and 30 points. And Jamal Murray, although never been a big all-star game guy, 
J-Mac was on him two, three years ago. He is a great get-a-bucket guy. You saw that against the Warriors in the fourth quarter. You need a bucket. Jamal Murray gets him. Jokic, best player in the league. Hi, everybody. It's me, Uncle Colin. Subscribe here to get the latest from the herd, including exclusive behind-the-scenes videos and more, wherever you may be, however you may be watching. Thanks again for making us part of your day.